onset of old age by sir humphrey rolleston coffee break collection twenty old age this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b onset of old age the onset of old age varies in different countries and like the development of puberty is accelerated by the high temperature of tropical countries there is also considerable variation in families and individuals of the same race and country thus while one man may be senile at sixty years of age another is vigorous both in mind and body at eighty the inconstancy of onset depends on the various factors that may play a causal part old age may be a physiological involution but too often is a pathological product when the period of reproductive power maturity wanes that of old age begins in women this is marked by the menopause the age of forty-five years being taken as the limit of fertility but before this even in the late thirties the specter of fading attractiveness may upset the matron and lead to the irregularities of the dangerous age for man there is no such index and the change is so insidious that most of us would expostulate at stanley hall's statement that old age in men begins in the early forties and sooner in women or less than half way through the physiological lifetime of a hundred years according to dante forty five marks the termination of youth and it seems generally agreed that as a rule and every one is entitled to consider himself as the exception the gay bloom of fifty passes quickly away and people get fat and infirm and all that it has from analogy of the female sex been rather fancifully suggested that in man there occurs about the age of fifty a critical period climacterium virile due to changes in the sex glands mendel or prostate rankin but of this there is no proof it recalls as a kind of echo the ancient conceptions of the grand climacteryx at forty-nine a multiple of the number seven sixty-three seven times the magical number nine of the arabians and eighty-one and the description in eighteen o seven by professor b waterhouse of cambridge massachusetts who in eighteen hundred introduced genarian vaccination into america of a kind of male molting between forty-three and fifty and a worse one at sixty-three an idea expanded into the climacteric disease imagined in eighteen thirteen by sir henry holland there is indeed no doubt that after an illness and the so-called climacteric disease admittedly seldom occurred without some previous factor such as an attack of gout a common cold a bout of intemperance recent marriage or particularly grief or bereavement old age may come on apace in some instances the so-called climacteric disease was perhaps really chronic renal disease in others merely the prolonged or imperfect convalescence due to some lingering infection after an acute illness such as influenza and as in the latter case recovery may occur holland's contention that recovery was an argument in favor of the existence of this climacteric disease holds good only in distinguishing it from permanent senility which indeed was the objection that he was concerned to meet the conception of the climacteric disease is interesting historically only and it may be agreed that apart from accidents of environment the progress of senescence in healthy men is gradual and uneventful so stealthy is the onset of senescence that commonly it is not recognized by its victim and though he may seldom mention it every man is firmly convinced that he not only looks but is at least ten years less than the register would tell him though unconscious of the change in himself he notes it with perhaps some self-congratulation in his contemporaries it is only if he tests himself for example by timing himself for a mile's walk that a healthy man of say seventy years has it borne in on him that he is not what he was the information that he is old may be suddenly conveyed by overhearing the chance remarks of others by catching a reflection of his bent back in a mirror 
by tardy recovery from illness or the advent of some disability such as hypertrophy of the prostate or dyspnea on holiday exertion perhaps the commonest warning is a feeling of fatigue sir andrew clark regarded the onset of old age as the period when a man ceased to adjust himself to his environment but some persons never are able to do this and misfits are not necessarily old laurentius divided old age beginning at fifty into the three stages of the green because it is accompanied with prudence full of experience and fit to guern common wheels the second at seventy years is very cold and dry and the last without a specified age incidence is that of decrepitude corresponding to the famous description in the twelfth chapter of ecclesiastes a more modern and comforting division is that of lacassagne of pre-senility old age beginning at sixty or sometimes seventy in men and in women ten to fifteen years earlier advanced old age and lastly decrepitude nasher speaks of a senile climacteric about the latter part of the seventh or eighth decade the transitional period between old age and decrepitude corresponding to the changes at puberty and at the menopause precocious old age due to the effects of disease especially syphilis and acute infections and to metabolic defects which permanently damage the cells of the body has a special interest as it supports metchnikoff's pathological view that old age as ordinarily seen is a result of toxic injury vide page eighty two hastings guilford has specially investigated premature senility and under the title progeria has described a remarkable condition of premature senility combined with or secondary to infantilism this condition was independently described in nineteen ten by vario and pirino as the senile type of nanism in such cases it would appear reasonable to ascribe these two opposite conditions to the same toxic or other factor the infantilism depending more on damage to the ductless glands before development was complete and the senile changes to direct injury of the cells in the body in general end of onset of old age